countdown is on for a lunar lander attempting to touch down on the moon later tonight. The landing time slated for 624 p.m. So if successful, it would be the first U.S. touchdown in half a century. Fox News' Chris Welch is in the newsroom with the very latest on this historic attempt. Hey, Chris. That's an exciting day, Steve and Natasha. Look, the U.S. hasn't landed on the moon since the Apollo missions, the last of which to touch down was in 1972. But in just under an hour, they'll do it again. And this landing, if successful, will make history for another reason. When we hear those words, we have touchdown, it's our next step to taking humans back to the moon. It's been a week-long journey. Ignition and liftoff. Ever since its liftoff from Florida's Kennedy Space Center last Thursday, but at 624 today, if all goes well, the Odysseus lunar lander will touch down on the south pole of the moon's surface. It's taken more than 50 years for the U.S. to get back to the moon, these are photos from its last lunar touchdown, Apollo 16, in 1972. Things have changed just a bit since then. For starters, a successful moon landing today from a company known as Intuitive Machines would mark the first ever by a private business. So it'll be a really important next step in um, establishing more of a longer term presence on the moon and testing new technologies for landing on the moon. Purdue Planetary Sciences professor Allie Bramson says the planned landing on the moon's south pole is significant since that's a site that NASA and its Artemis program are targeting as a potential spot to send humans in 2026. There is so much more that we have to learn about the moon. Uh, everything from how it formed to the technologies needed to have people survive on the surface of the moon. The six-footed, 14-foot tall lander carries six experiments for NASA, which gave Intuitive Machines $118 million to build and fly the lander, all part of its effort to commercialize lunar deliveries ahead of the planned return of astronauts to the moon. Now, the exact timing of the landing has changed just a few times today. At one point, it was set to happen at 424, but the company decided to orbit the moon one additional time before landing, so that new landing time once again today at 624. So fingers crossed. Yes, Natasha, we will you. be watching closely. Right. All right, Chris, thank you.